Good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Weekly Spark. Actually, another couple episodes. Um, I'm going to sit down and do a few things today because I have a pile of collage fodder and ephemera on the table, and I have a couple different ideas that are kind of popping into my head. Um, so I may not turn the camera back around for each one, but um, I'll keep you posted on what I'm doing in all these different kind of things that I've got going on at one time today. Um, I'm inspired in this next set of videos. Well, I want to finish off the little mini series that I've been doing and do a tag and an enclosure and an envelope like some of the most recent videos. Um, but then after that, I mean, have you seen the images that the Hubble telescope is sending back? Amazing, gorgeous, beautiful. So um, there's some inspiration there. Uh, there's also a little travel that I took. There's um, a, a family member who just got a new house. So I'm telling you, the creative ideas are like popcorn today. Just ping, ping, ping. So let me turn the camera around and I will get started on one of these. And even if I don't see your face in the next video, um, stay tuned for the next couple of weeks because I've got some really good things happening today that I'll share with you over the next couple of weekly sparks. All right, excellent. Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Weekly Spark. Something a little bit different today. Um, as you can see, it's a coffee day. Every day is a coffee day. Um, but if you follow me on any socials, you may have seen that I just <clears throat> took a road trip to Iowa to pick up our new camper van uh, with my husband. And so, of course, this first road trip home in a camper van had to have an art journal page. In fact, I have started a new journal that is actually going to like live in the van and be my travel art journal when we take the van places. Um, so I have some things that I did on the road one night when we were camping and other things kind of sketched out that I sketched out actually while my husband was driving. So I want to go ahead and finish these pages. We're taking uh, we're going camping at a state park this weekend, so I'll be able to start another page for that experience down at um, Trap Pond in Delaware. So I know by the time you see this, uh, granted things will already have happened in that weird time travel thing that we do when we film and then post um, and sk schedule posts on YouTube. So I'm actually going to do something a little bit different today because it's warm in here and the fan is running, which I know is a lot of white noise in the video. So I am going to just um, not talk at all while I work and I'm going to just put in my earbuds and do my thing. And then when I edit the video that I'll do a voiceover so that I explain what I was doing or what materials I used or what my process was. So um, that way too, I can speed things up because I think this is probably going to be kind of a long session so I can show you some highlights from the travel journal pages that I have planned for this first road trip. All right. So um, I'm going to go refresh my coffee cup and grab my earbuds. And then while I'm gone, I'll turn the camera around and then I'll show you the first page, but then I'll get started with um, the second and the third. It was an epic trip, so it gets three spreads actually. Okay, stay tuned. So before I actually get started, I will um, talk to you about this page. Um, we had some flight delays because of bad weather. We were stuck sitting on the tarmac when we landed in Charlotte for about 45 minutes because there was lightning strikes in the area. And then we finally did um, get our very delayed connector to Minneapolis. So these tickets were just ephemera that I had stuck in my travel case. But tickets and travel made sense to me. Um, a little Earl of Sandwich sticker from dinner in Philly. Really dark skies in Charlotte. And then, you know, I like leaving room to write in this. I plan on definitely leaving room to put kind of thoughts, document things, so that it's really a journal, a travel journal, as well as, you know, an art journal. 
Um, so things like that, some writing, beautiful big sky in Iowa, like just totally flat, amazing blue sky, puffy clouds, country roads, some gorgeous landscapes. Um, it almost reminded me of Montana in that kind of um, huge vista uh, as far as you could see. And then, of course, that's a picture of our van, barbecue for dinner, uh, the RV dealership, Lixon RV in Forest City, Iowa. Good grief, you guys. If you ever are considering making a purchase like this, they are Winnebago dealers, and they were a bit amazing. Like, we're flying one way to go pick up a vehicle we've never driven before, and they took care of everything. Courtesy vehicle, answered the questions, excellent service, and they have places for you to camp in your new vehicle overnight so that you can get acclimatized to it a little bit before you drive it off the lot. So, um, yeah. Uh, shoot me a message if you ever have any questions about that. It was a phenomenal experience, and I can't say enough to thank Lixen RV. Um, so this page was done on the road. This was actually done in the Lixen parking lot with some of the things cut out from the, the van pamphlet. So what I have now, I have two pages. I have one planned, which... I know it's hard for you to see. It's a couple small square and rectangular vignettes, all different scenes from Iowa. And then I have another one, which is a little bit more the guts of the road trip. I've got the silhouettes of Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, since we really did book across, across those states. So I'm going to start with this one first, and I have some pictures printed from my sticker printer. Those are going to go in there, and then I'm going to be doing some watercolor, and, okay, I know, the fan is droning on in the background. I'm going to just go ahead and start tackling this, and I will add any other info in the edits. So my idea for this page was to kind of represent the states that we drove through, and be inspired by the landscape. Um, I definitely want to do more landscape things for the Iowa page because it was very much a big sky kind of feeling with no tree line and huge vistas and beautiful blue sky. So there's a little landscape reference here and definitely um, the wind farms because there were so many of those in Iowa, Illinois, all the states, even into Pennsylvania. So a little background with just a watercolor wash, and then I start drawing in my states. In my head, I kind of wanted to have the detailed outline of the state on the left side, and then have it blur away into, fade away into watercolor, where it would then approach the next hard line detail of the next state. So these states are all in order, uh, the states that we drove through, Iowa gets its own page because it was picturesque in a different different way. I, I was more struck by the landscape and struck by some visuals when I was driving for the first time. Uh, I'm not going to be able to include the Iowa page in this video because my sketchbook did get wet and is currently drying out under weights. So I haven't done that Iowa page yet and I wanted to get this out to you in a timely fashion. So Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and then home to Delaware, keeping that kind of blue and green landscape wash in the background, and then having those states outlined across the main body of the spread. The colors I picked have no representation to the states or no, no symbolism of any kind. I picked colors that I liked and... Um, just went for it. I did skip Indiana in this case because I didn't want them to bleed into each other, you know, where wet is next to wet. So I will come back and put Indiana in place when things are dry. I am using a lot of Daniel Smith watercolors because they are my favorite. Uh, I don't get any promotion um, or discounts from them. I just really love the quality. 
and there might be some other colors in my palette. Uh, it's really kind of a lot of jewel tones, but mostly Daniel Smith. I, of course, had to use my favorite color, Mayan Blue, for Delaware, since that is my home state. I decided that I did want this travel journal because it's going to be in the van and connected to trips in the van. I definitely wanted to have dates and thoughts and some writing in there. Now, I put the dates and everything in this one, and I started writing about the cup of coffee that's photographed. And it wasn't a sheets, it was a love's truck stop. And so, you know, hey, made a mistake. I'm not going to try and paint it out. Just corrected it. And you'll see me draw the love's logo in, in a few minutes. I didn't label the states with their names, but instead I wrote in their state nickname. Um, the land of Lincoln, the Hoosier state, the Buckeye state, and things like that. I'd thought maybe about doing like a ribbon of road and a little tiny cutout of the van, but with the van on the previous page, that just seemed like overkill to me. So I do have the dotted line and, um, you know, the path we took kind of at the northern parts of most of those states. I hope you enjoyed this combination of travelogue and journal and art journal. And as always, please go ahead and do the YouTube things and like this video and subscribe to this channel. And I look forward to seeing you next week on Wednesday for the next episode of Weekly Spark.